Still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And in this video, I got my guy over here who just won his first government contract, man. Yes, so, sir, yes, want to talk about it? I mean, yeah. I, mean, I can yeah. ask you questions about it, you know, if you don't really. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're All right, cool. Do a quick interview, All right, right, so, you know, everybody wants to know, one, how much money is it? How much money? Uh, uh, the bill was for like six hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So your first government contract is for six hundred eighty thousand. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. crazy. For sure. Okay, now so um, I know all of that isn't necessarily the profit, no, right? So no. about how much is? Well, first of all, what kind of contract is it? Uh, it's a, a veneer bricks. I'm doing veneer bricks down in in Brunswick, Georgia. So it's like it con it's construction. Construction. Yeah. Okay. So six hundred eighty thousand dollars in construction. How much of that? A large part of the construction is typically materials. Yeah, it's gonna be materials. So the, the material is like three hundred and seventy-one thousand. Three hundred and seventy-one thousand with materials. the labor and everything combined. Yeah, it's like two hundred. You know what I mean? So I'll come out with like a hundred and you know what I mean? Hundred and some change. Yeah, hundred and twenty something like that. After, how, after and, all the expenses. And how long is the process? Well, it's about it's like a two month contract. It's not a two month contract long, for six hundred and eighty thousand. You know I mean? Yeah, it's not That's that long. That's crazy. But I'm just following your lead. Cause nah, man, I don't honestly, do that. You know what I mean, so it's crazy because like, okay, Storm has worked with me on two separate contracts so far. Yeah. And now he has his own contract. Worth more than both of the countries. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, but see, it's just, it, it it's, wasn't as much um, material cost though on the yeah, contracts. Yeah, now. and it's just it's mainly the field we in. You know what I mean, yeah, contract. I mean, con construction. Yeah, it's construction. Yeah. So you know, the construction is definitely. Be a little, that's where we headed. Nah, Moving nah. forward, we go. <laughs> we go a little bit more. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So okay. So now you want to tell them where you're from. If they don't already know, because he's been on the channel previously, but if they don't know, tell them where you're from. Okay, I was born in Florida, mm -hmm. but I grew up in the Bahamas, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nassau and Niagara, that's where I spend most of my time. Yeah. And I recently just came to the United States, I like to say about going on, what, six years now? I've been back and forth to the Bahamas. So, I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, okay, so the reason why I'm saying this, well, I was even asking is because you have a direct tie to people back home. Yeah. Which Bahamas. Yeah, to the Bahamas. So are you planning on using some of them for like Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna projects? yeah empower my people, you know what I mean? That's what's up. Cause it's, That's what's up. it's like where I'm from, the money is way different, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of skilled people where I'm from that yeah. they get they get penny pinched, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it ain't the work is there to do back home but the the cost of living and everything is way different. You know what I mean? Minimum yeah, wage back home in the Bahamas is like five dollars an hour or something like that. You know what I mean? Whereas it is in the U.S. is about what? I don't even know what it is. I think it's like thirteen dollars or something. I see. I see McDonald's doing thirteen and fifteen dollars. So yeah, you know what I mean? For somebody to come from where I'm from and work over here from five dollars to fifteen dollars, that's a big, that's a big gap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially. When you already, when you used to living in certain kind of conditions, so coming over, transitioning to the U.S. would be a way easy, tra uh, easier transition for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me see if I can pull this up because now that you're saying that, right? I just here it is, right here. The lady said she was gonna send me an email with it. So I just got a call because I used to be avionics. I was an avionics technician for the Air Force. Okay. Right? And that was many, many years ago. <laughs> like, that was years ago. But it's still a skill. It's still a skill. And the lady just called me and said um, she has a couple. She said, hey, are you interested in doing any avionics work? And I was like, no, I'm good. I said, but I still would like to know what's the rate, you know. Uh, it's going for, yeah. And she said, well, based off of your level from whatever they have of my information. The skill level, from yes. the Air Force, I guess. Yeah, they said between 30 and $40. Well, Low end thirty dollars an hour. Um, based off of my experience, it would be like forty dollars an hour. Forty dollars an hour. 
That's, come on. And in the Bahamas, that's, that's rare. Come on, man. <laughs> in the Bahamas, that's rare. I don't even think the MPs yeah. make forty dollars an no, hour. And I'm turning down forty dollars an hour. You see, that's that's, not, that's the big difference. So, yeah. like you said, that's one of my main things to try to empower uh, some of my family mm-hmm. members and, and and close home homies that I know that that are very skilled with their hands. Yeah, I try to bring them over. And I mean, like. Get they per- their work permit and their paperwork yeah. so they could come and make a change in their life, you know what I mean? Because like I was telling one of my homeboys the other day, my ultimate goal is to build a, a high school where I'm from, you know what I mean? Because the high school that I went to, it wasn't, you know, it ain't nothing compared to the schools in the U.S., you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the kids back home, they get 4.0 grade averages, you know what I mean? They do, they do well, but... I mean, Smart. yeah, based on, I mean, based on the, the conditions we have to, 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 to be educated in. So mm-hmm. one of my main goals is to, after, after it's all said and done, and I like to go home and, and build a, you know what I mean, a state of the art high school down there. Yeah, so maybe you should also look at maybe creating a nonprofit for like humanitarian work or something like that. Yeah. Or to build a school and people might donate. Well, that's, and that's what I'm saying. That, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you with, with stuff yeah, on, the sure. stuff like that. For sure. I don't like in in the business world right now. I'm I'm still new to it. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm I'm yeah. I'm very skilled man. I've been working like since I knew myself. You know what I mean? My family had a company, so I, I automatically just came up working in heavy equipment. I'm good with my hands and stuff like that. Going in the the boat and you know, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But transitioning into the business world in America, I'm kind of just I'm new at it. I'm just taking it as T give it to me. I mean, it, give it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning. Step by step, how to behave, how to how to talk, mannerisms, stuff, all the you know the little the little you know what I mean. <laughs> He's came so far. Okay, you know what I mean. So even talking on this camera yeah. right now, like it's yeah. it's all new to me. Yeah, yeah. He came so far. Like we first started on this project, you know, with so many different government people, you know, asking and stopping to ask questions and stuff like that, and um, you know he's taking that and he's grown so much and everybody loves him they rave about how well he does things like that so i'm just glad to see him going to this level and now he just won his first government how many contracts have you bid on bid i've i'm on my fourth one now you're your fourth one yeah so He's been bidding and he won his first contract for six hundred and eighty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. But that's that was the first one I had bid on. That's the so he, so the first one he bid on. He yeah, won, I got okay? it. Yeah. So you can win your first. Oh contract. yeah, you most definitely. You know what I mean. And, and you know, other part of that is uh, now that you know this world exists. Do you think you're gonna go try to do? Oh no, no, no! This is the way I'm government contracting. The way to go. I might as well tell y'all. If y'all had anything else in your yeah. mind, don't even don't think about it, man. Don't think about it. Get you a skill. Find yeah. something you good at. Get you a team. You know what I mean? And yeah. Get your credentials and everything in order. Start up a business and mm-hmm. put in your bids, man. It's, the money's out right. there. So he's he's looking to net about one hundred and twenty thousand or so. In a three month time frame, so like that, that was unheard of where I'm from. That's legit, damn, damn possible, legit. So, you legal. know what I mean? And it's legal money, super here. legal. It's coming so, from the government, you know what <laughs> I mean? So, I mean, they're gonna tax you, but yeah, hey, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta do the work, you still got, yeah, it ain't, yeah. Ain't, I see, it, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't one shy of hard work, so there's no problem doing the work. I believe by, by a man work, he should be mm-hmm. paid, you know what I mean? So, as long as you're willing to put in the work, there's no problem getting paid. Yeah, so um, I'm really looking forward to seeing him and the rest of the team. Oh yeah, take everything that they learn here with me, and you know, to the next level. And he on his way. Everybody looking up the hill right now. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, I got to get my stuff together. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, <laughs> they got everybody like that. Was that's for the land of contract? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got to follow TV. Like, oh, it's, it's up now. Like he did it. We know it's possible. Because another thing is a lot of people. It's, it's two-sided, right? One thing is, for me, I came from the hood, too. So when I, when I changed up and I, you know, started talking different, dressing different, going through classes, getting my degrees, going through the military, I started going through professional communication classes, all that yes. kind of stuff. My sister's a lawyer. I'm an accountant. So even though I'm from the hood, people from where I'm from, they remember when I was in the hood, but... Now they see me and they can't really, they, they look at it like, oh, he can do it, but yeah. I can't do it, you know. 
stun me. <laughs> <laughs> they like, oh, he can do it. They still look at oh, me man. as hard body, so they say, <laughs> yeah. if he can, if do, he can it, do it, I definitely can oh, do yeah. it. Oh, yeah, we can all change if he can change. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, that's good, man. But anyway, you got anything else you want to say to him? I mean, uh, oh, yeah, I just dropped a, a new song. single today. Say you better you know say that. I mean? yeah, come on now, I just dropped a new single today. <laughs> yeah. It's called Do Not Disturb by Alan, Alan Boy Stormy. Y'all go tap in, like, share, subscribe. It's mainly a song for the ladies. Ladies, y'all tap in, add me on Instagram, let me know what y'all think, you know what I mean? And for anybody out there that's looking to get into government contracting or anything like that, this is the man here to tap into, man. I let me. By the way, he's a singer. Okay? No, I'm not saying. I'm an artist. <laughs> he's an artist. That's what they go about now. Okay? <laughs> all the singers who look tough are, well, all the tough singers. They didn't say he looked tough. You know, he the real thing. I'm an so, artist. You know what I mean, ladies? <laughs> artist. He was like, I ain't no singer. But, you know, um, go check out that song. Definitely Do Not Disturb by Island, Island Boy Storm. Storm. Yes, sir. All right? And is there anywhere you know they can follow you? Oh, yeah. You can follow me on Instagram, Running Back Zoe. You can follow me. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga <thing is> funny. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> I had to bring Zoe back. I thought Zoe was gone. Yeah, he, he came back. I thought he was gone too. Inside joke. Inside joke. Everybody who know what's going to see this, they'll know. Okay. But I wouldn't go out there and use my fingerprint. Pop me, pop belly. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you can follow, okay. uh, follow my YouTube, Island Boy Storm, you know what I mean, subscribe. Or oh, yeah, you can also fe- uh, follow our podcast channel, it's called How Go TV on, mm-hmm. on YouTube too, you know what I mean, we be doing interviews, podcasting. How It Go TV. How It Go TV, How H-O-W-I-T-G-O-T-V. Yeah, alright, so anyway, right now you're watching Casino is the Name, also follow me on Instagram, at symbol, K-I-N-G. C A S I N O. That's King Casino. Oh, and the number one behind the, you know, the back. So King Casino one. You know, right now you watch Casino is the name. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And we out. Out. I was always focused on the money. I started, I started with, nothing. with nothing. I was born, I was born to be born an entrepreneur. I'm a real estate investor. Had my own trouble with authority. authority. Multiple college, college degrees. Ex-military. I'm an author. I'm an author. Motivational, motivational speaker, speaker. Not, to not to mention I'm an accountant. Account. But with all the with things all the that I've done, 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 it was government, government contracts, contracts that truly made me rich. Yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the Name, and if you wanted to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot, Hot Shot, Volume 1, Own Your Trucking Authority. It's a great book, five-star reviews. The link will be in the description below. Go get that. Yeah. Beat me up, Scott. Beat me up, Scott. Me and her together, we just count it up Money on my mind, I can't get enough Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street When she first saw me, she said, who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat I'm the one that really did what a rap They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped Say you wanna be successful but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I caught the bus at Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.